Today's hymn about the worship of God is, in my view, an extraordinary hymn by a German hymn writer called Ernst Lange. Uh, he lived in the 17th and 18th century and uh, was a judge. And uh, he wrote most of his hymns during uh, a time of a great plague in the part of Germany he lived in. And uh, uh, as a thanksgiving to God for how he was preserved during the plague, he wrote 61 hymns, one for each year of his life. And uh, this hymn is one about the attributes of God, his perfections, his eternity, his greatness, his creative power his sovereignty in government, uh, his infinity. It just heaps up attributes of God that are all uh, attributes that inspire worship as we meditate upon them and view them. It has this wonderful line that says, When you infinite God I, God, I set by faith before my ravished eye. In other words, he takes... What God's word says about himself and by faith and the grace of the Holy Spirit he sets it before the eyes of his soul he says his eye is ravished by the sight of God's attributes and in worship that's really what worship is about it's taking each attribute of God and by faith setting it before the eye of faith meditating on it until we are lost in wonder love and praise. Uh, it's a longer hymn, and so I'm just going to go straight into it. Oh God, oh bottomless abyss, your pure perfection, who can know? Oh, hide immense, what words exist, your countless attributes to show, unfathomable depths you are. I plunge into your mercy sea, empty of wisdom is my heart, with love embrace and cover me. Eternity your fountain is, which like you know beginning you, you were when time began his race, or shone the star. Faith before my ravished eye, my weakness bends beneath the weight of glory and thy speechless life. Greatness unspeakable, divine, greatness whose undiminished ray, when this brief world is gone, shall shine. When earth and heaven flee away, unchangeable, all perfect Lord, essential life's unbounded sea, what lives and moves, lives by your word, and by your word it came to be. Your hands and your creative skill establish nature. themselves to human thought, or that escape our searching eye, by you was to perfection brought. Heaven's glory is your awesome throne, the earth bows to your gracious way, the wisdom we boast as our own is but a feeble what our dim eyes can never view is plain and open to your sight. What thickest darkness veils to you shines clearly as the morning light. In light you dwell, light that no shade, no variation ever knew. Open to your piercing 
every 